Hey there everybody, I'm Dr. Jamel Sandage, National Technical Director for NYSIS Corporation. So today we're going to be doing a one-to-one -one dilution of boric care in water. And generally, one gallon of boric care treats 400 square feet of wood surface. Two gallons of boric care, you're capable of treating a 2,000 square foot home. Before you get started, there's a few things you're going to need. Safety glasses. You're going to need a drill an impeller, preferably a plastic impeller. You're going to need a bucket. Here we have a six gallon bucket. You're going to have to have your mixing gloves, of course, your board care and water. And you're going to need a tarp. Now the tarp is for a couple of reasons. The biggest one is to protect against, if you're using dye, you're protecting the concrete, you're protecting against getting that blue dye anywhere. But if you're mixing outside, boric care can also kill vegetation such as grass, so you're protecting the grass. So there are many different impellers on the market, but primarily you want one that's plastic to avoid hitting the sides of the bucket. But the other thing is that some of them are actually smaller and tapered so that you can mix into something that has a smaller opening. Now, once you have all of your PPE, you have everything in place, where are we gonna start? So the first thing we're gonna do is to take our water and add three fourths of a gallon to our bucket. Once you have three fourths of a gallon of water in your bucket, go ahead and open your bore care. Now start the impeller mixing before you start pouring in the boric here. Okay, so one of the myths about boric care is that you need hot water to mix. That's not true, and today I'm actually gonna show you why. The temperature of this water is about 71.3 degrees Fahrenheit. As we start mixing with our impeller, friction will create heat and warm up the solution. Now you wanna mix this until it is a homogeneous solution so everything looks the same and you don't feel any drag with the impeller. Now we've done our primary mixing. Now we still have to triple rinse this container. All right, so now we're gonna do our triple rinse with our boric care container to get the remaining boric care out of the jug. For this, we're gonna need a funnel. So that fourth of a gallon that we saved earlier of water we're gonna go ahead and mix. So now you're just gonna continue mixing the board care until you think you have a homogeneous solution. So if you're looking down in the bucket right now, you can see that the solution no longer has any visible bore care. The solution looks about the same. Once we stop, we can see that the impeller moves easily through the solution. So that means bore care is mixed efficiently. I'm stopping here because I wanna show you how the temperature rises. So after just a little bit of mixing, you can see that our temperature has risen. So if you're in colder environments, or if you're using cold water, the longer you mix the boric care solution, the warmer it will get due to the friction caused by the impeller. Now this happens whether you're mixing boric care or if you're just mixing water itself with the impeller, the temperature will also rise. Now the boric care is completely mixed. Now, if you require dye, in your state, so check your regulations to see if you require dye for your pretreatments. But if you do, this would be the point in which you would put a small amount of dye in there just so it changes the tint. 
Not enough dye so that it's highly visible. You just want to make it slightly blue. And then you're ready to put it in your tank and start spraying. One thing to remember is that bore care at a one-to-one -one ratio needs to be used within 24 hours. If you're mixing on another ratio, if you're mixing a five to one ratio, then that can last up to 30 days or longer. But with the one to one, 24 hours, you wanna use all that material. So another thing with Boracare to be aware of is that you don't wanna leave it in your sprayer longer than 24 hours either. You wanna rinse out that sprayer as soon as you're done with your application, just to dilute that amount of Boracare down so that you don't have any issues with your sprayer. So again, I'm Dr. Jamel Sandage from Nisus Corporation, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it teaches you exactly how to do a one-to-one -one, uh, mixture of board care. Look out for more videos coming up soon. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you won't miss out on any future videos.